Okay, I'm gonna try to show you guys the direction that my hair is going in so you can see what I'm doing because it's impossible for me to hold the mirror up, use this and use the flat iron and be in the shot at the same time. So if you see the back of my hair, you can see the direction the curls are going. They're all kind of going in this direction. And I go down as far as I like to go down. And I part my hair here at the ear and at this ear. Kind of like an imaginary part. And I just keep these curls that are going in that direction in this middle section. It just helps to get a more refined and precise style at the end if you just kind of do sections at a time. So I do this section down as far as I want it to go and that's preference. And then when I finish, I'll come back and I'll grab these pieces and then I'll do the sides and then I'll finish the front. I really wish I could show you how I, let me try to grab a piece, flip it out. You can see how I flipped it out and grab it with the flat iron. And you got to flip that wrist up like that. So you grab the hair and curl it and flip the wrist that way that's all I'm doing it won't be perfect the first time I'll go back when I finish and pick up any little straggler pieces that I missed but that's basically how you do it okay the back is done the middle back section so this section here is done and then what I'm going to do next is go to this section here <clears throat> excuse me and start to come around then I'll go back and do this side section and then back up to the top. So remember in the beginning I was saying how your mold and your first few curls, like those first one, two, three, four curls are your guide. So now you're here and all you do is follow the pattern that you've already set. So every piece of hair I pick up is already kind of going in, in a direction because of the way I molded it. You mold it in the shape you want your curls to ultimately be. So all you do is just follow that, basically. And you curl the hair as loose or as tight as you want your curls to be. That depends on your hair texture, texture, your hair thickness, you know, what look you like. And what I do, because my hair holds a curl really well, I'll curl it and then right away I'll put a comb and keep going so I can get done more quickly. So like that, I would do like this. That's why I was saying sometimes I keep a third comb. And then I just pick up another random piece. It's not in any pattern. And I just curl it. And I just keep going like that. And yes, my scalp is very dry. Probably a little white, but it's just what we're dealing with right now. And sometimes if you want, like, I do this too. I'll do random pieces in the opposite direction, like it's all going forward. Every few pieces, I'll do a random piece back that just gives it some flair. You do have to be careful about where you place those random pieces because you can end up with something that really looks messy as opposed to looking um, like you intentionally just styled your hair that way. What I like to do is keep the pieces that do go in a different direction if I decide to in this middle section right here so that the side are still uniform and you can keep the overall shape of the style by controlling the sides. So any plan around I want to do, I usually do it up here in the middle. And I'll do a couple pieces. And sometimes I even give myself more of a guide by doing this. So that I just kind of, I don't know, it just helps me to keep things. And you see how the hair is already wanting to go in that direction because that's the way it was molded. So even though I'm going to flip this piece back, I'm still going to keep that end. When I get to the end, I'm going to do that twist. So still everything's going in this direction. So whether I curl this piece back, whether I curl forward, at the end I do that flip. I'll just keep going.
it looks like it's very uniform, but in actuality, it's really not. This piece I'll go forward at the end. I'm gonna pull, still keep my little flips going in the same direction. And with the front, I only go down so far because um, if I want to give the front of my hair some flair or some style or do anything different like with this part, it's going to matter where you stop, how far back from your hairline you stop. So I don't like to go down too far because usually I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just, you know, kind of going with the flow. So we'll see. <clears throat> And then these pieces, see how I'll part diagonally so that I'm not getting that perfect kind of stacked look because I don't really like that. And you see the hair? It's going how we wrapped it. It's easy to follow. A little flip at the end. So now you have this section curled like this. So this whole side is still should be curled this side and then we're going to curl that so that it flows in with the rest of it. But again, it's super simple. You've already given yourself a pattern. These pieces, I don't part as wide. So I won't part a piece like as wide as I did in the top. They are thinner from here to here. They're thinner, but from here to here they're just as wide as every other piece I picked up and you can see how it wants to go so I just curl it that way and you can see the kind of parts that are forming and again here I do the diagonal which way the hair is going. This is going like this. Put it off. Do one more piece. Be careful how close we're getting to the top. This piece I go down like that. Alright, so pretty much the top is done. What I like to do is go back to this side just to keep some symmetry. I don't want to go too far. I don't want to curl this whole side all the way down. So I go back, fill in these gaps over here, and then I'll finish this, and then I'll finish this. And the same thing applies. It's going to go in the direction that the hair was laid. And I know a lot of people curl from here up. I just personally don't do that. You can do it. There's nothing right or wrong about it. I just know how to curl my hair. And I don't have to go uh, like that. You see how I get to the end and I'm kind of flipping that wrist? So even though this curl is going down, it has a little bit of bend forward. And because the wrap was going that way, I'm going to have a little volume here, which is good. Good. Grab this piece. Go in the direction that the hair wants to go. You can see it. Just curl it like that. Go back up. Grab this piece. Like so. You can see how if you go back and look again we're making our way down so we just go back again I said to keep it all symmetrical and here what I like to do because this is you want this to flow together I will try not to um, separate this too much so I can kind of follow 
the flow that's already been created. This is a very important piece right here. This is how I'm parting it. That piece coming off that back. I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to curl and kind of bring it like this. So I curled it down and brought it forward just a tad. So later when I blend, you'll see why it's a good idea to curl it like that. <clears throat> and this I like to keep it up. I'm not ready to deal with that yet. Just keep curling. Don't, don't worry if you miss pieces, if everything's not perfect, because you can go back when you're done. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you can grab those little pieces that you missed. Um, once you get more of a um, finished look, or you get closer to being finished. The hell is that? Grab my next section and just cut it. This is a little shout, so it's really not that it's short, but it's really laid down to my scalp, so I do that method where I use the Red tail comb as a finger and lift it up. You see how these pieces are sticking out? No worries. Just curl them down. And comb it. The hair's gonna the hair's gonna obey because you wrapped it really well. This part I get kind of kind of leave till the end too because I don't like to come down too far either with these edges. I want them to ultimately accentuate the style and I'm not sure exactly where every curl is going to fall so I just I don't curl that yet. Go back up here. This piece, I part it this way. But I'm going to curl it. And you see how it wants to go. You can see it is pointing just like this. So I just curl it just like that. And all this messiness will look fine, trust me. Okay, so that like that. You see this? We'll get all that. It's a big old piece of this because that's bone straight. Not a problem. Here, just do the same thing I did over there. Just basically curl it down around the direction that it's wanting to go. Which this is going back. So I'm flipping it, but I'm pulling the flat iron that way as opposed to pulling the flat iron this way because that was the way it was wrapped. If you want your curls tight, you don't want to disturb them as quickly as I'm disturbing mine. You want to let the heat cool down a little and your curls will be tighter. But my hair, like I said, holds a curl. Uh, so I'm not overly concerned with that. Woo, watch that. Ew. That's another reason I immediately pull them down while they're still warm because I don't really want them curled hard, especially around the edges and, and down low. I just wanna just wanna accentuate the the wrap basically. It's like a little bump, like as if your hair were long and you pulled it out of the wrap. You just want a little bump in it. That's all I want. <laughs> 